In the vast expanse of Russia, where the winds whispered tales of greatness and revolution, a child was born to a poor peasant family in 1896. His name was Georgi Zhukov. Little did anyone know that this child would grow up to be one of the greatest military minds of the 20th century. Born into a humble background in the village of Strelkovka, Zhukov's childhood was marked by poverty and hardship. Yet, even from a young age, he displayed an unyielding spirit and determination that would shape his destiny. Growing up amidst the tumultuous years of Tsarist Russia, Zhukov witnessed firsthand the injustices and inequalities that plagued society. Inspired by the ideals of socialism and equality, he joined the Red Army during the Russian Civil War at the age of 18. It was here, on the blood-soaked battlefields of revolution, that Zhukov's military prowess began to emerge. As the Red Army emerged victorious from the Civil War, Zhukov's star began to rise. His exceptional leadership and strategic acumen quickly caught the attention of his superiors, propelling him up the ranks. By the outbreak of World War II, Zhukov had already established himself as one of the Soviet Union's most talented commanders. When the Nazi war machine descended upon the Soviet Union in 1941, Zhukov found himself thrust into the heart of battle. Leading troops with courage and determination, he played a pivotal role in halting the German advance during the Battle of Moscow. Despite facing overwhelming odds, Zhukov's brilliant tactics and unwavering resolve helped turn the tide of the war on the Eastern Front. As the war raged on, Zhukov continued to distinguish himself on the battlefield. From the brutal urban combat of Stalingrad to the sweeping offensives of Kursk, he orchestrated some of the most decisive victories of the war. Yet, it was perhaps his leadership during the Battle of Berlin that would cement his place in history. In the spring of 1945, Zhukov's forces launched a massive assault on the German capital. Facing fierce resistance from entrenched Nazi forces, Zhukov devised a daring plan to encircle and capture the city. In a relentless onslaught, Soviet troops advanced through the rubble-strewn streets, inching closer to victory with each passing day. Finally, on May 2, 1945, the red banner of the Soviet Union was raised over the Reichstag, signaling the end of Nazi tyranny in Europe. With the war finally over, Zhukov's contributions to the Soviet Union were widely celebrated. He was hailed as a national hero and awarded the title of Marshal of the Soviet Union, the highest military rank in the country. Yet, despite his many achievements, Zhukov's relationship with the Soviet leadership was fraught with tension. As Stalin's grip on power tightened, Zhukov found himself increasingly at odds with the dictator's policies. His outspoken nature and independent spirit clashed with Stalin's authoritarian rule, leading to frequent clashes and political maneuvering. Eventually, in 1957, Zhukov was dismissed from his position and sidelined from the political arena. Though his career ended in controversy, Zhukov's legacy as one of the Soviet Union's greatest military leaders endured. His strategic brilliance and unwavering dedication to his country had helped secure victory in the most devastating conflict in human history. Even in his later years, Zhukov remained a revered figure, admired for his courage, integrity, and devotion to duty. Today, statues and monuments to Zhukov stand as a testament to his enduring legacy. From the windswept plains of Russia to the bustling streets of Moscow, his memory lives on in the hearts and minds of all who cherish freedom and justice. For Zhukov was more than just a soldier. He was a symbol of resilience, determination, and the indomitable human spirit. And though he may have passed into history, his spirit continues to inspire future generations to strive for greatness and never falter in the face of adversity. Zhukov's military genius was not merely about leading troops into battle but also about understanding the intricacies of warfare. He meticulously studied military history, tactics, and strategies, drawing upon the lessons of the past to inform his decisions on the battlefield. Zhukov was a master of deception, employing feints and maneuvers to outwit his adversaries. He understood the importance of logistics, ensuring that his troops were well supplied and supported. And perhaps most importantly, Zhukov recognized the importance of morale, inspiring his soldiers with his own courage and determination.